Hi everyone and welcome back to Clean Eating Kitchen. I am in my home studio. I mentioned in my last video that I had moved out of my beautiful white and gray kitchen. That was actually like an office kitchen that I don't have access to anymore. So now I'm in my home kitchen and you can see I have brown cabinets which kind of go with my house, which is like a Mediterranean feel, but I'm actually thinking about painting them white or like a creamy white. So if you've ever had experience with painting kitchen cabinets, leave me a comment and let me know how it went. Um, I would actually probably hire a painter. I'm not gonna do it myself. But today I'm sharing a food processor smoothie. It's a uh, vegan, it's dairy-free, of course, gluten-free, and it uses mango, spinach, and pineapple. So if you don't have a blender and you just have a food processor, you can actually make a very creamy smoothie in a food processor. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to make this delicious and healthy food processor smoothie. So the first step to make your food processor smoothie is to fit your food processor with its S blade. Then you're gonna put the spinach in the bottom of the food processor and top it with your mango and pineapple. And I like to use frozen pineapple tidbits as well as frozen mango chunks. And it just makes for a nice cold and refreshing smoothie. The next step is to add your nut butter and your plant-based milk. Now, I like to use peanut butter or almond butter. You could also use um, pumpkin seed butter if you want a nut-free option. And then as far as the milks, you can use anything from almond milk to oat milk to hemp milk, whatever you like. And then if you wanna make this a meal replacement smoothie, then you'll need to add about one scoop of a protein powder. And I have a whole list of my favorite unsweetened protein powders. I will include those in the description box below so you can find that whole list. And then you're just going to pulse the smoothie until it is completely combined. You may need to stop and scrape down the sides and with a spatula but you just need maybe one to two minutes and your food processor smoothie will be thick and creamy so then you can just pour it and serve immediately if you want any kind of extra crunch on top of your smoothie you could add things like cacao nibs or granola or shredded coconut so that is the end of this smooth food processor smoothie recipe and i will see you in the next video bye everybody Thank mm -hmm. you.